three minutes to contribute and we're going to take one hour to make our contributions to this motion. The Honorable Senator Maanzo. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me an opportunity to contribute on this very important motion. Mr. Speaker, the Constitution uh, expectation is that uh, as soon as an election is conducted, then whoever takes the mandos to lead the country leads the country into prosperity, peace, and unity. It uh, anticipates a situation whereby, Mr. Speaker, um, we work as a nation together for the success of the people of Kenya or on the sovereignty of Kenya. At all material times, the people who elect us are sovereign, and the new constitution anticipates the elected leaders as servants of the people. And therefore, Mr. Speaker, I rise to support this initiative so that there may be dialogue. We are aware that after the 2010 constitution, we agreed then Senator that there was. Wamatinga, Majority Leader, kindly let's uh, give an opportunity to Senator Manzo to be heard while making his contribution. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, what is expected is that uh, there could be, there be dialogue so that we could fill the gaps. As you have seen from the proposals of the two, the majority and the minority, there are gaps which were left out in the 2010 Constitution and after 13 years. It is a time now, Mr. Speaker, for us to fill up these gaps so that we have a document which serves the people of Kenya, which unites the people of Kenya, and which uh, sees the country go into prosperity. Mr. Speaker, I'm aware from the debates which has been in the funerals, television shows, uh, and among the public, some people feel that uh, these uh, bipartisan talks could be against their region or against their tribes or against themselves. Mr. Speaker, this is for the benefit of the country. It is not benefit of a region or a tribe. Mr. Speaker, we, we want to build a strong Kenya for all Kenyans, but not for one or two individuals. Mr. Speaker, I really like the way uh, the majority side in the National Assembly has framed the issues. The matter went through the National Assembly. It is now before Senate. And again, Mr. Speaker, we, we, once we prepare this, we have to avoid the, pit, the pitfalls, what we, we went through uh, before when we try to make or amend the Constitution uh, through the executive, but not through a popular initiative. Mr. Speaker, eventually we must find a way of making this a popular initiative. A Senate will represent all the 47 counties of the Republic, and therefore we, we want to avoid what happened to BBI. Obviously, this is going the BBI way again, but we must make sure it is the people's driven changes, but not uh, executive or elected leaders only driven changes. Eventually, it must go back to the people, and eventually most of the issues framed. Some can be amended by Parliament, and others can only come through a referendum. I thank you, Mr. Speaker. I support. Senator Gloria Robert. 